Chief Minister Nong Thung Bambirin assures to release students and teachers of Manipur University in judicial custody after proper settlement. Centre approves in principle multi crore projects for two new overbridge and a ring road. Chief Minister N. Biren says DPR will be processed soon. Girl students of Manipur University demand unconditional release of arrested students and removal of security forces from Varsity campus. Politicians and students condemn BJP state government for the fresh upheaval in Manipur University, demand unconditional release of arrested students and teachers. And social researcher Sir Totondana Kom reminds weight and measurement department to discharge their duty efficiently. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nong Thumbam Biren has stated that the students and teachers of Manipur University were arrested acting on the complaints of VC in charge, Professor Yugendro. The Chief Minister has assured of releasing those in judicial custody after reaching an understanding between the parties involved. The same was intimated to Impact News today on the sidelines of a vehicle distribution event for government officers at Manipur Rifles Parade Ground. Chief Minister Biren asserted that the students and the professors were arrested after Professor Yugendro approached him with his concerns. Biren said crime preventive measures will spare no one, whether they are students, teachers, ministers or MLAs. He assured of restoring normalcy in the academic atmosphere of Manipur University by reaching a compromise between the parties involved without further delay. He also mentioned that suspension on mobile internet service was imposed considering the vulnerable situation for a communal outbreak and distortion of Manipur University crisis due to Ms. Crane's abusing the social media. The Chief Minister assured of lifting the ban as soon as normalcy is restored in the law and order situation of the state. In such hatred, we should not make the request to the Sangbuna hatred. We of their own, we go many ways. The Sangbuna is hatred. We make the request to the Sangbuna. We make the request to the Sangbuna. We have the Sangbuna. That is, anyway, see, we must not only, we are, 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 Solusi ni mana perang na bayi hona jari, adunna maya amna puning phathra kat tu mina lebi na bayi na. Tapi ayn gimana tu mina kadai bahu pada kari tu bayi agi tu. Kar is out tu, lai hand ba, lai tu hand ba. Koi punu magtana raga, adu di semai tau si. Ya na bumpo ram mina adu di complain withdraw tau re. Gahai na adun balai raga di just ya idun ko. Adu ku mama tanan na bayi kan nasin ge. Chief Minister Nong Thumbam Biren has announced that two overbridges at an estimated project cost of 14,000 crore rupees and a ring road at the project estimate of 8,000 crore rupees will be constructed soon in Manipur. He was speaking in a vehicle presentation event for government officials comprising of IGPs, SPs, OCs and SDOs on first Manipur Rifles Parade Ground today. Taking part in the event, Chief Secretary Dr. Suresh Babu said the vehicle distribution event was held in order to facilitate government officials as lack of proper transportation hinders developmental works. He also mentioned that earlier, government departments procured their own vehicles and most of the time, new vehicles were utilized by top officers, leaving the old vehicles for OCs and SDOs. And hence, the government decided to present the allotted vehicles personally to the concerned officials. Chief Minister Birin handed over one Scorpio XUV each to nine SPs of different districts including IGP Zone 1 and Zone 2. One Maruti Gypsy Hardtop each to 25 SDOs and one Maruti Gypsy Softtop each to 25 OCs of different police stations on the occasion. 
Speaking in the event, Chief Minister Biryan asserted that the vehicles will facilitate government officials in discharging their duties and especially in carrying out field activities in the interior areas of the state. He believed that the new vehicles will now facilitate department officials in carrying out go-to-village mission camps in remote areas. Biryan also announced that the central government has given approval in principle for construction of two new overbridge and a ring road for the state. He mentioned that a detailed project report DPR will be processed soon for the same. Biren contended that the projects once in place will ease a road congestion in Imphal City. The chief minister showed that the government has both a long-term and short-term plans for improving road connectivity of the state. Asian Development Bank ki kang bukhara la ambane madai da koi na ai noi the moi ki paisa kar thaduk ta balai numba area ki ada ai na bargaining ta ko paisa kar thaduk oge ado kai nonda ta biba ya brai na moi si am harau na ta oge da ai na overbreeze in phal si da ama ani ko mai am da kar leye na ai na moi the request to bani a works minister shi oge ado ki in phal ki ring road ta maga to ease out the traffic. Ado fortunately, ngarang nahan gi meeting da ministry gi level da koi koi dengai tu li long ado be airport chappa asang ba around 25 kilometer matik 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 hai do hazin yau rugai ba ana overbridge sabagi overbridge ani gumbahi tar ado sabagi aya ba in principle aya ba pire. Mao Youth and Students Organization Imphal held its annual get-together come Freshers Day today. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Nong Thung Mambirin has declared that Manipur belongs to each and every communities of the state. He opines that coexistence of varied communities enhances aesthetic value of the state. Speaking further in the event held at Tribal Research Institute in Ching Mai Rong today, Chief Minister Biren asserted that the present government aims to bring an overall development by leaving behind past mistakes and focusing more on the present and the future. He recalls that as soon as the present government came into power, it launched Go to Hills mission with an aim to bridge the gap between the hills and the valley inhabitants. He expressed contentment that the government has been successful in bridging the gap and bringing closer ties among the inhabitants of the hills and the valley to a great extent. He also appreciated students from Mao for opting to study in Imphal instead of going outside the state. Chief Minister Birena showed of constructing a Mao market shed at an appropriate location in Imphal City and a hostel accommodation for students of Mao in Dulaland at the earliest. The Chief Minister also disclosed that the state government is planning to build a heritage cottage for all the recognized tribals of the state at Kaibulam Jao. Biren reminded the government's decision to incorporate the Mao Cherry Blossom Festival into Sangai Festival from this year and also mentioned that Mao Nupi Kaitel will be inaugurated this October. He also disclosed that the government is planning to set up an IIT institute at Mayang Khang to facilitate higher studies. Minister of Tribal Affairs and Hills and Areas and Fisheries and Kaishi, Minister of PHED Printing and Stationery, Losi Diko. President of Mao Union Imphal, members of Mao Naga Women Welfare Association, various civil society organizations and students took part in the event. Cultural shows, singing and dance performances were the highlights of the program. Important is the trust. Important is understanding between us. It is your land, Manipur is ours. We are having 33 tribes recognized. Mao contribution by the Mao communities in making Manipur is commendable. Historically, we cannot divide, we cannot be separated. She the Noina P River, I want the Nokoki Tazabal River, Government the Lady with Hazab Doki Mangaloi. BJP Dharma the base that we have with Sando Kone, Manipur, the BJP government like this, Sahi and Magamakai Shore. Have you heard anything? Have you heard anything against the beef? Have you heard anything against the Sirs? Have you heard anything against the Muslim? Nothing is there. Sigi concept say fanatic reality, ground reality 
Speaking on the sideline, Chief Minister Nong Thumbu Biren assured that talks will be held soon with the Manipur University community to end the diversity impasse. He also mentioned that students and teachers of the university were arrested as it was mandated to act upon a police complaint received against them. The Chief Minister is short of holding dialogues with stakeholders to consider what may be done for the release of the arrested individuals. It may be recalled that acting on an FIR filed, filed by Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor K. Yugendro at Singjame Police Station, 89 students and 6 professors of the university were arrested. 15 arrested individuals, including registrar in charge of the university, Saugaijam Dorendrajit, were produced before CJM Imphal West yesterday. Subsequently, 13 individuals, including Professor Dorendrajit, were put on judicial remand for 15 days, while a Cultural Secretary of Musu, Laishram Robindro, and Irom Kennedy were put into police remand till October 5 for further investigations. कोई मशीन आता नहीं कशुले थे तो वो ऐसा कि लॉयन ऑर्डर की करी कि मी ये मना है मोई खरन ना कंप्लेन तो उड़ा मीना पुलिस की थबक्षु तो उगदबे आता बाद वो समाओ याम थोड़ा सोल्यूशन हम लाई नहीं था आधुनिक मोई की लीगल प्रोसीडियर और हम लाई बनी अथवा ये उसी हल्ला का वारी साना रखा है बाप मतलब उन्हें ना बताऊँ Shiv Sena Manipur State Unit has strongly condemned the recent arrest of teachers and professors of Manipur University. The party drew the attention of the authority concerned to bring resolution to the university impasse without further delay. Speaking to media at Shiv Sena Manipur State Unit office in Babupara today, party president M. Tombi expressed disappointment that the university I beg your pardon, that the normalcy restored in the university was again disrupted with the release of order for Professor K. Yugindro to take charge as VC. Midnight, Kangongdana, Adumaina, Kuigi, Satrugi, Aduka, Wangotaki, Mahi, Lushang, Lysangum, Masigum, Masista, State Forces Singer, Live Down, Captain Aduka. Madai itu dah mi mayam sing si, pada na pun na house eres tau guna na sahtr sing si, matuk tu tau si di, masih di sih sena na yam na pende, sahtr sing si ke pun si da, mui si aku ini society tuning bagi, adu ki thak adu, madu yang nu na ba, mui sentimen show nu beri tau ning de, tau bung kang de ba, mama papa sing ma pam rang kang de na, wahan bagi thabuk saya, masih state government atau matam tu topio. Girls students of Manipur University stay to sit in today wearing black tape across the mouth in demand for unconditional release of the arrested students and to remove security forces deployed inside the university campus. The students residing in the girls' hostel of the university took out a protest at MU bus stand today. The agitated students shoo Professor Yugendro away who came to persuade the irate students. The professor was left with no option but to leave the scene. Mentally tortured tau riba, mui mayam sini nak kangbra. House arrest tau bunga cak mana ye ba? Ye wah hostel hostel kudengi gate ta military impose tau bagi type ta gate tengah agak lahir. Aku ikam mana adu gis situation, aku ikam mana larik pa agada bunga, aku larik pa bangam dre. Adu na aku isi larik tam betto, aku ikam power politics hana raga, power muna raga lahir bagi mahutane aku isi betto, aku ikam larik tam betto, aku ikam punya universiti yang tinggal lagi hari zuhai biro, aku isi gis situation ni dia aku ikam mengkata na pay kata bading ngamaro. Hostel zaman kita ni apa? Kau ikam gas dah ida. Koi je warden na teror, koi lokto pelak pelak lai. Lokap tu kita dua orang matung si dah ida. Ozasi na koi warden na koi je rikslor putoh re, putoh kan dah. Koi koi na university gas je umatam dah, koi thamui dah. Nung nangam pu eva. Amo na lokap sendiri, wah kan dah. Amo amo na lokap. Kami fikir amda pernah military rule dah, hostel amang dah, polis leh ramba, gas hamba, siang hari kan dah. Amo na koi je mula lokap thasan dulu pernah. Veteran politician Okram Joy has alleged that the recent raids conducted on Manipur University campus is a sign of authoritarian rule of the BJP government. Speaking to media at the Office of People's Resurgence and Justice, Praja, Okram Joy condemned the harassment made to students in the boys' hostel of Manipur University in the intervening night of September 20 and 21 by the combined team of Manipur police and paramilitary forces. He reminded that freedom of press has been restrained during the four to five years of BJP in power. Accusing the government to be under the whims of VC Professor A.P. Pandey, Okram Joy opines that the state and central governments have not been working for the welfare of people.
He asserted that the issue hovering around Manipur University has become a state issue and urged all the CSOs, student organizations and political parties to jointly march forward to safeguard the land and its students. Jugindro Haiba Nupwa Am Apsa Laga Nam Fuda Inwisti Da Akwe Saaz Lau Nena Lang Pa Saaz Lau Pa Ngamdra Kanda Si Minister Da Report Torga Akwe Movement Si Da Agitation Si Da Yau Riba Mi Sing Du Kana Kana No Ma Ming Pira Mohena Pira Mane Hai Adu Konhang Da Di Asi Khabar Uba Da Maduna FHR Amo Van Thoga Thore Adu Ga Chon Da Ki Polis Na Thore Iba Du Ga B Si Nena Hapi Ba Akwe Ki Jogindro Na Thorak Pa Statement Du Ga Ani Du Yang Na Ba Da Di Somaj Da Tau Ba Akwe Ki Gammen Si Na Tau Ba Acha Uba Mitrang Ngi Ba Hapta Akoi da ui nahan gi ahing da tau giba i unisri da tau riba sina. Ta e madu di marad brasa da gana tantra mangan bagi educational institution da sepronize tau bagi. Akoi gi nam fu da barat si salai na buhona bada sambidhan kongkong na rafu gi. Laiba ama sason tau bakan da lay riba lo du na ayin na bisa tau bim huta. Niang niang pa si minister na nga si paam badu thana thara gheta tau ru chuhar gheta tau luba. Or in a mayam sang a semjal laga madu sinia na ta hai ba. Lai ri ba kwe ki bharot ki institution mayam si manghan na bagi acha uba BJP na sa thiri badu ki sap sa ba sup nam ki yam na dictator in loi ba kwe ki so do madu ni Manipur University tau krisi. Speaking to media, Praja convener Irendro Lechumbam alleged the Nong Thong Bambirin led state government of being a puppet in the hands of the central government. He urged the authority concerned to release their arrested students and professors without any condition. He also warned of intense agitation if the government fails to pay heed to their demands. Tang kun gi nung dang kun ma thoi gi ayub tu thoki ba Manipur University da tau gi ba military raid. Combined state forces and central forces na raid tau gi ba sigum ba university manung da masi Manipur gi history da India gi history da sigum ba si aham bu oi gani na ai thamsa ningi. Masi yam na laibak thi ba ni. Central government amasung state government na ani si pulla ga conspiracy ama tau ba ni hai ba si yam maik siang na expose tau ba July da su ma yam na dum khangpi ra ma ni. State sponsored fake rally yang macam tu kita tu, aku lagi MU community yang mai waktu, aduh macam tu fail lagi kan? Hendak tauriba Manipur University, the attack tauriba saya, sesuatu aku lagi dah seng hai tarik di fake encounter tau bukan mana sih ke fake encounter sesuatu fail lagi, aku lagi kuda mungkin hai jadi ada red tauriba police officer tu lagi marak sih dah kulai thamzal laga, bad nama sih ke hai bah aduh kumpa conspiracy, kerana tu tengen kerja hai bah aku lagi खबर देखा इधर कोई मीडिया की कुतांग तो कोई थिंकना चाह रहे हैं तो ना शे या हम ना कंडेम ने बोलो ये बात मणिपुर यूनिवर्सिटी से वो थुआई की है बात या हम ना लिजिटिमेट और बात डेमोक्रेटिक डिमांड तो ये बात महिरोइसिंग की मूवमेंट जी वो नमथा की है बात तो कुम्ब all India Students Federation AISF has asserted that a newly appointed Pro Vice Chancellor Professor K. Yugindro should take all the responsibilities in the aftermath of the recent police raid in the Boys Hostel of Manipur University on September 21. Speaking to media at AISF office at Iravad Bhavan complex today, State Secretary of AISF Kundrakpam Rameshwar condemned the incident of firing tear gas shells and torches meted out to the students in the Boys Hostel. He questioned on why such acts of militarization were executed. AISF alleged the state government of executing the incident and urged not to repeat such acts again in future but to maintain the academic atmosphere in the university. AISF also urged to release the arrested students and teachers unconditionally and extended the all-out supports for all the ag agitations by Musu, Muta, Musa, other students and CSOs. <laughs> Hazin Kiva, Manipur University, Mahiru Singh, Oza Singh Atho Madam Na Kandisha Nam Ta Yawgana Thadho Gada Vani. Mahiru Singh Da Akhoi Yam Sati Va Moong Da Saasan Da Phu Gada Vani. Zai Gada Va Moong Da Hostel Manung Da Ukta Moong Boong Kapsin Ba. Asina Singh Ba Na Ta Ija Da Va Thong Singh Asi Ngasi Ki Pali Vani Ngak Sina Akhoi Ki Thon Mani Hai Hai Vada Hai Man Ma Thok Loi Na Ta Vang Mahi Kol Asi Akhoi Ki Ing Na Tappa Moong Da Mahiru Singh Ki Khala Gaan Da Akhoi Sati Atho Madam Na Purak Piyo. Loi Na Na AISA Mani Pur State Council Na Nesten Council Da Loi Na Ra Gaan Da Akhoi Na Deli Da Koi Presiden, Barat ki Presiden undang na ba, loi na na. Kali ba, koi ki thowok thowok dok sing ngasi ka marilai na ba. Marik cuma opam thamna bagi dah mukta koi ASM Universiti Council na same sahaga leh. 
Convener of Joint Students Coordination Committee, JSCC NG Milan, has warned of formidable actions if Manipur University Authority strikes against the total shutdown of Manipur University imposed by the committee. Speaking to media at MSU office on DM College campus, NG Milan asserted that the normalcy in the campus is disrupted as the government has operated against the MOA signed between the different stakeholders. Milan demanded to free all the apprehended teachers and students without any conditions. He also urged the government to lift the ban on mobile internet service in the state. Makatana judicial custody da amadi police custody da thamjilakanda makhoi ge tungi career da makhoi ge tungi punsi da ya khoi ge amu bagi kali amar tashan bagi adu gumba thabak chathari ba se pali balenga ashi ge home su pai biri ba honorable same na masi akhoi athu bo matam da unconditional release to bigadam ni kari gumba masi Kudakta and the unconditional release of the Targeti, Masidia Tolokpa, Apapategi, responsibility Punamak, Honorable Siam Namadu, Lobby Gadabani, University Magi Sanity, University Oibugi, Magia Kugi, Asim Masakado, Masigi, Onata Never the Tower River Mamsa, Manipugi, Miam, Puno Hupna, who is Sanction Minagani. Harry Cohn has appealed to the government to resolve Manipur University crisis at the earliest. It further urged to lift the ban on data services and condemn the ban in this technological, technologically advanced world. Speaking to media at Harry Cohn office, Palace Gate, Harry Cohn President Longjam Ratan Kumar demanded unconditional release of the arrested teachers and students of Manipur University. Manipur University ki was asking a Madi, Mahiroi Singh Pajan Kriva Singh Ado, Atubum Matam the Tadu Oga, Akwe Ipa Isa Isil in now, Oibugi, Magi, Langak Amadi Magi Miam, Adugi, Marakta Lainava, Havadi, Pali Valangak Sina, Miam Ginumitai than Sutambire, Aduna Magi Miam, the man Luna Gadabugi Mong, sir. How Griba do not hold Griba where it goes to the home to a Harakanda, was asking a Madi, Mahiroi Singhu, Kandisan Yog than a Tadok Piri Harakanda. Kamaina wa thoksi loishin ke da ki hai vse amu hanna ma pima pa amu wena mani pu go mena ko na biu hai Education Minister T. H. Radisham has stated that one needs to, be, to face various challenges in life to become successful. He was speaking in the 55th Foundation Day of Modern College in Porampat today. Minister Radisham also called on the students to have patience in life. A college souvenir and a magazine were also released on the occasion. Na nai na kada usi college asi sahi ang kahi mga asur. Sahi ang kahi mga journeys. Ako y miyo iba ako y life sa life is very short. Yam tele punsi ni but journey is very long. Ako y punsi ki kung sa sa problem ng aten ni ato na problem thing na raga lanto ko dito ni nungay ba is awa ba le ram le nungay ba le ra dito how ki ba sa masi nai na raga present si na future tung na ako y kada ni sa si ka karam direction na sa si karipan tung yoga da ge. Universal Family Organization held a convention to discuss on ways to solve various social issues. The meeting was held at the community hall of Kwaketil Mayaikwebi Mamang Lekai today. Art and Culture Minister Langpulakpam Jentakumar, Changange Zila Parishad member Sina Marjit, former section officer of Manipur Secretariat, Tokchom Maino, social worker Kangjam Mahindra, including representatives of various private and women organizations attended the event. Speaking in the event, Minister L. Jentakumar urged UFO to conserve the state's indigenous faith as well as to promote other faiths. The minister stressed on the equality of all religions and maintains that all religions preach righteousness. Minister Jenta Kumar further appeals to the organization for taking an active role in bringing unity and harmony in the state. The minister also handed over a book on the customs of Meite before the advent of Vaishnavism in the state, written by his father, late L. Bhagyachandra, to the members of Universal Family Organization on the occasion. The whole of the Vedanta philosophy, the whole Vedic philosophy, Hindi philosophy, Christianity 
Tambiram go potta, Makoi to get Tadana. I call you so Wakalona, I call you philosophy more. I think Tambiram and I was a Pasitan, which talked to some company. Kang Lake Park Taupang Loop Uripok in a press release has warned of 24 hour statewide bans from the midnight of September 30 till the midnight of October 1 if Ram Krishna Mission School is not shifted from the compound of Uripok Tondonsana High School, Uripok Boys Upper Primary and Residential School. This is to inform our, all the viewers that some channels are likely to intermittently freeze for one to two minutes in afternoon from second half of September to second half of October 2018 due to solar interference. This is a biannual affair which takes place as a signal carrying satellite come between Earth receivers and the Sun. It happens once bef uh, between March to April and September to October. Due to this interference, channels belonging to Star, Z, Sony and Colors group may be affected. This is a global phenomena and timing may differ from continent to continent. Now moving ahead, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on two Manipuris bagging Mrs. Iowa India 2018 and second runner subtitle. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Two Manipuris, namely Hentoi B. Morangtem and Nunglek Pam Premier, have bagged Mrs. Iowa India 2018 and second runners-up titles respectively. Thirteen finalists from all over India took part in the grand finale of the national beauty pageant held at Andaman and Nicobar Islands on September 15. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Iowa India director Bhomechan Khaba said, Iowa India 2018 is a pan-India beauty pageant presented by Manik Chan Pan Masala and Amar Sini Production. The beauty pageant aims to empower women against child abuse, sexual assault and violence against women women empowerment sugumba da importance piba pageant amane then hoy uh, manipur dasu misses category ki oina platform je ta sengna hagadi sulei leite national level chat pangam basu aduna this is the first of its kind for since last year last year dagi chat pa hou bani haidi manipur da direct audition ta oram atung da manipur da direct entry or ga national pageant am da mamang na mumbai da ta bani so we would like to thank all the sponsors of manipur for supporting iwa india manipur yam nungai ba phawe adukimati aduga makha makha ta ba pandam di si da sum mayam gi oina si gi fashion world si da go adum chat tha ba pani Social researcher Serto Tondana Com alleged that due to lack of proper inspection by the weights and measurement department, vendors in Kwaramban market and other markets are cheating on the customers. He said the buyers are not getting the quantity of the product they are purchasing. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, he said that after purchasing an authorized weighing stone of 1 kg from the department and using it to measure different products purchased from Kwaramban market, he found the products less in measurement. He urged the department concerns to consider the loss to customers every time they purchase products. He added that according to rules, weight and measurement department need to check the weighing stone used in the market every year, but the failure to do so has given liberty to the sellers to cheat on customers. Weight and measurement department should take initiative in timely. Department is a government government is initiative in 100% government is consumer affairs. initiative service. government civil society, public, NGO. Consumer Club is not a consumer initiative. It is a daily service. It is a service. It is a service. It is a service. It is a 
Various lectures and demonstration programs were held on the second day of the ongoing three-day 11th Satriya Sangeet Samaro, jointly organized by Center for Satriya Music, Dance and Traditions, Sangeet Natak Academy, Satriya Kendra, Guwahati and Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy in Fal since September 21. The event was held in the seminar hall of Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy today. Dr. Joy Krishna Mahanta from Dibrugar and Dr. Anwesha Mahanta from Guwahati gave lectures on the topics Shimanta Shankardeva and the Bhakti movement in Assam, philosophical version and embodied musical cognition, a case study of Satriya music and its melodic interpretation respectively. Taking part in the event, Professor Project Director of Sangeet Natak Academy, Guwahati, Pradeep Jyoti Mohanta stated that Satriya music, dance and tradition is one of the oldest art forms. He assured that efforts are on to preserve the art form. He asserted that the joint venture in organizing the Satriya Sangeet Samaro program will enhance cultural ties between Manipur and Assam. Age-old cultural relation between Assam and Manipur through the shared history. Uh, it will be a kind of bridge building at the level of culture and cultural relations between people of Manipur and people of Assam. Yeah. That is the aim and objective uh, of this festival. At the same time, to put the great tradition of Satriya music uh, for its wider understanding and explicit. Aryan Theatre has celebrated its 83rd Foundation Day and commemorated artist Hanjabam Shamo Sharma on his 100th birth anniversary today. The event was held at the Sangai Hall of Hotel Imphal. A panel discussion of, on Hanjabam Shamo Sharma, live times and art was held and a commemorative volume was also released on the occasion. Speaking in the event, President of Aryan Theatre Rambam Lokendra said, the life story of the late renowned artist will throw lights on deed and existing lifestyle of Manipur, struggles in presenting one's cultural identity to the world and the impact of modern outlooks on the age-old traditions and customs, etc. Floral tributes were paid at the portrait of Hanjabam Shamo Sharma at the event. I quit a Halaman singer, a home buggy, it till lakey, Hivasa, Matamadugi, revolutionary struggle Kayagi, Amasung Itias, Hongaba Laknaba, Lilagi, Wariga Luinana, Samjin Nanaba Honajaduna, Mianda, Aya Samogi, Kalagi, revolution Givafan, Ozasing, Marukma Pangsing Na, Kana Nainabiduna, artist Amasung, Matamgi, Mari, Samnabigani, Haina Kanjaduna, Miyam ki pung pung ning sing chen janaba panel discussion am si tham jabani. Chief Electoral Officer of Manipur organized a street art competition as a part of the ongoing election awareness campaign I Am Ready at the southern wall of Kumalampak Sports Complex today. Speaking to media, Creative Director and CEO of Fluorescence Communications, Ahibam Pralad said, the event was organized to raise awareness on electoral procedures and voting rights. Individuals divided into 20 groups took part in the competition. Electoral rights, maya mama awareness program bo na ba. Electoral roda ano ba ming change ba, semdok ba, kathat ba, assembly constituency change to buna ching ba. Adum ba maya ngi campaign nama sa thari I am ready hai ba. Adu ki part amani na si ki street art competition se. Atay campaign ako yung radio, TV, print. Atay event maya mama su line up tawo ka lairay. Adu ki ako yung anthem mama su am na thuna release tawo na bo na jari. CS Mart Hybrid Car, manufactured under the Nexa brand of Marty Suzuki Company, was launched in the state today. The car was launched at Nexa Showroom in Chingmerong. The car is available at X Showroom price ranging from 8 lakh for the 3,000 and 585 rupees to 11 lakh 22,000 and 264 rupees. Recently launched, a CS car has a mileage of 19.12 kilometers per liter, while the newly launched CS Mart Hybrid has a mileage of 20. 28 kilometers per liter. 7,000 CS Mart hybrid cars were sold in the first month of its launch in India. In Manipur, one Lystra Manita is the first owner of the newly launched CS Mart hybrid car.
Board of Control for Cricket in India, BCCI, has cancelled the registration of eight Puducherry players who are participating in the ongoing Vijay Hazari Cricket Trophy. The Cricket Trophy, hosted by Gujarat Cricket Association under BCCI at Moti Bok Cricket Stadium at Badodara, commenced on September 18 to be continued till October 8. Nine teams are competing in the played group for the trophy. After Puducherry defeated Manipur by eight wicket in the first match of the trophy, various complaints were raised against Puducherry team. After a thorough investigation, general manager of BCCI cricket operations, Sabah Karim, cancelled the registration of eight Puducherry players as they were found to have recently settled in Puducherry since last August which is against the eligibility criteria of the trophy. Manipur Cricket Association has also filed a complaint to BCCI either to repeat the match played on September 19 or to award a full point for the team. In the second match, Manipur beat Sikkim by 10 wickets. Manipur will now face Arunachal Pradesh in the next match tomorrow. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nong Thumbam Biren assures to release students and teachers of Manipur University in judicial custody after proper settlement. Centre approves in principle multi crore projects for two new overbridge at the Ring Road. Chief Minister N. Biren says DPR will be processed soon. Girl students of Manipur University demand unconditional release of arrested students and removal of security forces from varsity campus. Politicians and students condemn BJP state government for the fresh upheaval in Manipur University demand unconditional release of arrested students and teachers. And uh, social researcher Serto Tondana Com reminds weight and measurement department to discharge their duty efficiently.